Happy Easter Eve! Hi guys, and it's time for part 9 and 10 of our Junie B. Jones series. So, as you all know, today is Easter Eve. You guys are probably like, what? That's not even a thing. Well, it technically is Easter Eve, but um, it's the day before Easter. So, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. And um, so, the Easter Bunny will come tonight. And in the morning, you will have some presents in your Easter baskets and you're probably going to celebrate with your family and you're going to have an Easter egg hunt and I hope you guys have a blast Easter and we will too and don't forget to leave out your carrots for that Easter bunny he's always hungry all right so as you all know we are already on chapter 9 and 10 of Junie B. Jones Dumb Bunny so I can't believe that, can you? So, as you will know, they still haven't told us who found the golden egg. So I'm really hoping that they will show us. And, um, so I had one person comment in this video that, um, I guess being a bunny is not that bad. So is winning a jelly bean contest. Um, it might not be a kid, but it's someone in my family, just so you know. So it's not any of you guys if you're not in my family. So, um, a special shout out to that person. I'm sure it'll be like, oh yeah, I did comment that. So if you're in my family, then you might be one of the people. So go check back on your comments to see what you commented. Actually, no, it was from texts. So um, it was definitely not any of you guys. All right, so it showed us where Junie B was in her hot and itchy costume. And we will see if they show us who will find the golden egg in chapter 9 and 10. Oh, and by the way, my sister is screaming out there. <laughs> I have no idea. And my mom is somewhere. I have no idea where she is. And my dad's just vacuuming, I think. Let me listen to him. Looks like he's mad. All right, so just a reminder, if you have the book, then you could follow along. And let's get started. All right, so, and I'm so glad that we're going to finally finish this book before Easter. I'm so glad. Woo, woo. So, remember, the Easter Bunny only comes if you're asleep. Just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So you guys could know. Because he has magic powers. And if you're up, then you might see him. And he doesn't want to get caught. So, but he will come if you're, like, relaxing and you're, like, sleeping. He won't come if you're, like, in your living room and, like, running all around. Then he won't come. But if you're sitting there and trying to sleep, then he will come. Very true, right? All right, so let's get started. Junie B. Jones, Dumb Bunny, book 27, by Barbara Park, illustrated by Denise Brunkus. Chapter 9, Lucky Bunny. Sheldon found three more eggs. May swooped all of them. Every time she swooped, she shouted her head off. Four! Four! Now I have four! Five! Five! Now I have five! Six! Six! I just got six! Six was Sheldon's limit, apparently. He stomped to my tree stump and threw his empty basket in the grass. That's it! I'm done. I'm not looking for one more egg for that girl. Let her find her. Oh 
some stupid eggs. I quit, he said. May came chasing after him. No, Sheldon, no, you can't quit. You can't. Come on, we're a team, she said. We're, we're Team May. Sheldon did a huffy breath at her. No, we're not. We're not Team May, he grouched. I'm an egg finder. And you're some creepy swooping bird girl who steals them. May's mouth opened real shocked. I did not steal your eggs, Sheldon Potts. Those eggs were still in the grass when I picked them up. Just because you saw them first didn't make them yours, she said. Picking them up is what makes eggs yours. Sheldon started to yell back. Then he stopped and looked at me. said I think she was has a valid point here may smiled real smudgy thank you Sheldon she said you're not welcome he said back and I'm still not looking for any more eggs may I'm still quitting may was not expecting that development she started to sputter but but you have to look for more eggs, Sheldon. You have to. Just a couple more eggs and I can win this whole thing, she said. Plus, you still haven't found the golden egg for me yet. Just then, the nana walked by. May reached out and grabbed her arm. Tell him, Nana. Tell him he can't quit, she said. Sheldon is on my team. And when you're on a team, you can't quit. It's not fair. Banana looked puzzled for a second. Then she did a little frown and shook her head. Oh, my, no, she said. I'm sorry, dear, but there are no teams on an egg hunt. An egg hunt is an infunctual competition. May did not like that answer. She pulled on Banana's arm some more. But, but Sheldon has to help me. He has to. He, the Nana interrupted her. If you don't let go of my arm, I'm going to give you a swat, dear, she said. May quick let go. The Nana smoothed herself and walked on. Sheldon laughed real loud. I like that Nana, he said. I smiled. I like that Nana too, I said. I nudged him with my elbow. Maybe someday she will be your Nana-in-law. Sheldon did a loud hoot. After that, we did a high five, and a low five, and a medium five. Then I scooted over so he could share my tree stump. Lucille spotted us there. Her whole face lighted up when she saw Sheldon. Shelsey! Shelsey! I've been looking for you. Where's your basket? She asked. Did you find the golden egg yet? Huh? Did you, Shelsey? Did you? Sheldon's face went funny. Um, well... My magic egg shirt didn't work out that good, Lucille, he said. I kept finding the eggs, but May kept swooping them. And so now I'm just sort of, well, you know. May butted her head in. Quitting, she hollered. He's quitting, Lucille. Tell him he can't quit. Tell him right now. Lucille raised her eyebrows. You're quitting, Chelsea? Why are you quitting? You have to find the golden egg, remember, she said. If you don't find the golden egg, I will have to swim in my pool with someone I don't actually care for. She started to get annoyed. Think of me, Sheldon. You have to think of me, she said. Don't you know anything about being a boyfriend? Boyfriends do not.
but their girlfriends swim with people they don't care for. Sheldon didn't answer. Lucille's face got madder. Sweet came on her head and lip. Well, for goodness sake, don't just sit there, Sheldon. Go find that egg, she snapped. Then she wiped her sweat on her expensive dress sleeve, and she stomped away. Sheldon watched her go. Finally, he turned and looked at me. My little lamb did not actually handle that well, he said kind of quiet. He paused a second. Also, she turned into a sweaty drip ball, he added. Just then, they stuck her head in between us. Come on, Sheldon. You heard what Lucille told you, she said. You have to find the golden egg. Come on, find it right now. Then he, she grabbed his arm and tried to pull him up, but Sheldon did not budge himself. He shook her off like she was a bug. I admire that style. After that, both of us sat there until the hunt was almost over. And then we started walking back to the picnic tables. Only too bad for me. Because I forgot to pick up my huge big feet. And I fell down in the grass again. And that's when it happened, I saw something gleaming. It was gleaming right in my eyes, I mean. I blinked and looked again. Then I quick tried to cover my mouth with my palm it, but the words came rushing right out of my lips. The golden egg! The golden egg! I see the golden egg! May and Sheldon looked down and saw it too. For a second, all of us stood there real frozen. And then... Oomph! Thoomph! Thaloof! We all dived for it at once. And... Slap! 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 We piled our hands on top. I got it! I got it! I got it! We shouted. Then suddenly all of us got very silent and we stared and stared at our hand pile. My heart started to pound. I stared some more. Then my mouth fell open and I did a loud gasp because the egg was under my giant pomet. That's why. Oh my gosh, I really do got it. I hollered. Sheldon frowned. Are you sure? He asked. He wiggled his fingers to locate himself. Shoot, he said. I was hoping that big paw was mine. I looked awed at him. That was a joke, I hope. Well, at least you beat May, I said real happy. Beating May is still good, Sheldon. Then, kaboom! May exploded like a firecracker. She yanked her hand off the top of the pile and she slapped it on the ground. He did not beat me, Junie Jones. Sheldon has zero eggs and I have six. How can you say he beat me, you big dumb bunny, she called. That's when I exploded too. I am not a dumb bunny, May, I shouted back. I am the celebrity of this whole entire oxygen. Plus, you didn't even... find one single egg on your own. And so I will show you how Sheldon can beat you. I will show you right exactly now, in fact. Then, without even thinking about it, I quick slid my palm in off of the golden egg and I let Sheldon's hand drop on top. There! Ha! See, May? May? See? Now Sheldon has the golden egg. And you don't. And the golden egg is the winner of this whole event, 
I said. May's eyes got as big as balls. Sheldon's eyes got big too. He grabbed the egg in both of his hands. And he jumped up like a rocket. May slumped her face in the grass. Then, tweet, 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 Banana blew the whistle. And that was that. The egg hunt was over. Chapter 10, Decisions. Monday, Dear First Grade Journal. Today at school, Sheldon keeps on hugging me. Lucille keeps hugging me too. May keeps glaring at me. She needs anger management classes, I believe. I quit writing and thought about the party. May didn't win the most eggs, because guess who did? My friend Joe's, that's who. And guess who got to present the flowers to him? Me, the bunny. Joe's was the happiest boy I ever saw. He jumped way high in the air. Last floor is Permia Pie Marty. Last floor is Pierre Maya Marty, he said. Metagracius Conchino. I giggled very happy. Conchinito means bunny in Spanish, I think. I smiled at that memory. Then I started to write in my journal some more. Sometimes I'm not happy about giving the golden egg to Sheldon because I made that decision on the spur of the moment and I still want to swim in Lucille's hot water. Only here is the confusing thing. Sometimes I'm happy about what I did for Sheldon because seeing his face made me smile and sigh. And so that is something for me to think about, I guess. And guess what else? I am not calling May Dumb Bunny anymore, probably, because bunnies aren't that dumb, of course. And so now I am going to call May a different name. Uh-oh. She just glared at me again. I think I will offer her a jelly bean, because that would be a nice gesture by me. Please stand by. I put down my pencil and reached into my pocket. Then I pulled up the candy bag I brought to school and I held it out to her. Would you like a jelly bean, bird girl? I said real pleasant. May spurted and spurted, very shocked. Then she quick raised her hand to tattle. Mr. Scary! Mr. Scary! Mr. Scary! She hollered. Mr. Scary looked back at us. His face did not look delightful. I ducked down my head. May did a gulp. Then she lowered her hand and started counting to 20. No action was taken. I smiled very relieved. Then finally, I picked up my pencil one more time and I finished my journal page. May does not like her new name, apparently. That is going to work out just fine, I think. Have a happy day. Your friend, Junie B. Smart Bunny. All right, guys. So that is the end of Junie B. Jones' Dumb Bunny. So let's talk about what happened. So as you all know, they did show the part where everyone shoved and pushed and fighted to find out who got to find the golden egg. So unfortunately, no one found the golden egg. No one. Isn't that crazy? No one found the golden egg. So no one got to swim in the pool with Lucille. That's sad for them. But Joe's did win the um, 
Easter egg hunt, so he got to bring home flowers for his mom. So Joe's basically did get the golden egg, but he didn't like really get it, get it, because he won the competition. So that's it, everybody, of Junini Jones' Dumb Bunny. We read all the chapters of this book. And either Junie B. Jones stories have a good ending and a bad start of the book, or they, either or they either have a good start of the book or a bad ending to the book. So, later today, I will make a video of showing you my next top third favorite Junie B. book. I have it right up there. And it's not something to do related to Easter because this is the only Easter book I have for Junie B. Jones. So, but until I see you, stay safe and healthy, everybody, and have a what? And I hope you guys had a good, good Friday yesterday, wonderful Good Friday, and have a great rest of your holy Saturday. And if I don't see you again today, which I think I will, then um, have a wonderful Easter tomorrow. Make sure you celebrate with your family and celebrate all you can. But I hope you enjoy all your presents from the Easter Bunny. If I don't see you again, bye bye